difference between dating industry and real estate? Actually, not as much as you think. I went the other day to a conference and it was about advanced analytics, about data, about predictive analytics, sophisticated things. And on stage, there were two speakers, one from dating company, one from real estate. And what was interesting that when they both finished speaking, everybody realized that if you remove the dating, if you remove the real estate, their approach to data, to analytics, to predictive analytics was exactly the same thing. There was no difference between people selling houses or trying to date somebody. Everybody tried to always improve the image, if you will, to get the result they were seeking, the price they made. So at the end of the presentation, they suddenly realized there are no competition. They are actually friends and they start exchanging almost on the stage the algorithms, how their approach to data, what, how they can learn from each other. And the same thing can go for you. Just because you are working in one vertical, that you run company in that vertical and you'd like to, you are using data, you'd like to scale, you'd like to start exporting, better understand customers. Try to go to another vertical and see how they're using the data because you too might learn something from the dating industry. Mm -hmm.